crack in there, YouTube. A good friend, Dasmerg. One of those tres. <laughs> yeah, it's your good friend, Dasmerg, again. Hey, folks, it's uh, football time. Yes, it's video game football. This time we're talking NCAA football 13. What's happened since 12? What have they been working on? Well, they've been flapping all kinds of sizzle trailers and what is the other one? The, you know, sights and sounds trailers and the E3 just happened and. Well, this is what they've been hyping us up with. Here's a sizzle trailer coming back at you with EA Sports. Demo. It's in the game. Demo came out yesterday, and here's the demo. So we got that Heisman challenge. We got the Dynasty thing. Don't forget to share with a friend. Share the demo, man. You'll unlock. Uh, it's kind of cool. You'll unlock a couple of Nike Pro uh, combat uniforms for the actual game. And also, as you play, you're also going to unlock more Heisman uh, finalists there for Heisman winners for the Heisman challenge. We're not going to get into the Heisman challenge right now. We're going to get into actual gameplay, and here's the matchup, which is kind of cool. We got three different matchups to choose from: K State at Baylor. Uh, that was actually the first game I played, and uh, kind of laid a whooping on uh, Baylor there. They seem to be a bit overrated, in my my estimation. Another nice thing is we get to see some ratings of some teams here: uh, Oregon and USC, and the mighty Trojan the protector. And uh, what else we got going on here? And we can't forget about uh, the division I love to hate: the SEC, yes, Alabama, and LSU in the uh, rules violation game. No, rivalry game. Yes, that's what it is. Now, you know what? Can't uh, I can hate on the SEC. I'm a Notre Dame fan. I'm, you know, I root for the most hated team probably in college football. And, uh, yeah. Alabama runs a tight ship, though. The rest of the SEC, yeah. We'll see. I think those two teams are a little bit overrated, but we'll see. They, they've been, they're going to benefit for the next uh, at least two seasons from carrying 125 instead of 95 like they are now. And <coughs> like the rest of <coughs> Division One <coughs> football <coughs> has been for <coughs> like the 80s. But uh, anyways, that's a topic for another dis discussion. So we're going to come at you. Uh, I'm going to use uh, USC and Oregon, and I'm playing with USC. I'm choosing USC mostly because I'm not too ha I'm not too uh, big on playing with uh, the spread offense. I wish you could choose playbooks in this, but hey, it is a demo, and yeah, they had to keep it a, you know, to a measly two gigabytes. Oh, my bad with cap. Oh, so we're going to start off here with presentation. We still got the ESPN logo branding and that cool little collage. We got the whole intro thing here. That was uh, brought out, um, what, 10? There's still the crazy pom-poms that look like they're being, you know, they're going to impale somebody on. The horse is going to drop a load here and a bunch of divots, and then this other guy is going to come out and spike a big giant divot in the turf for all the players. I'm sure they were real happy about that. <laughs> and then, of course, we're going to have the team run out, and you're going to see the USC because the Trojans are playing at home here. So, uh, for folks who aren't all uber geek-tastic, like your good friend Dasmerg here, following all the ins and outs of, you know, what's been going on development-wise, well, the bits and the dribs and drabs information that uh, EA does let out about its development cycle there, here and there, though they have done a better job over the past couple years uh, versus previous years. And, ah, I can see through that dude. What's going on? He's got no body. Um... Yeah, it was, it's pretty nice. I'll give them credit here. First thing is, um, 
uh, don't forget, uh, this year marks uh, a marked, uh, marked, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, change, really almost a philosophy for the development of these games. They've been getting kind of crushed on the sales side. Remember, Madden was the leading sports game, period. I mean, that it was that was the daddy title of uh, sports titles with Madden. I mean, it just uh, crushing figures that it sold. And don't forget also that uh, sales figures for soccer kind of got split up there or football proper, as our European friends would say, uh, got kind of split up between uh, uh, PES and uh, FIFA, and now with uh, FIFA sort of taking over there, it's be it's become the daddy title of all the sports games, uh, and uh, what was it, uh, what was it uh, my friend uh, BA was saying to me last year, that uh, Michael Jackson's dance thing on We Outsold Madden last year, you know, how the mighty have fallen, but uh, uh, a market change here uh, for development here on uh, NCAA and Madden. I'm going to do a Madden video after this about the, all the E3 goodness that came out over this past week. Uh, you should see that. Uh, I'll probably whip that together maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't want to say the weekend because it's uh, Guild Wars 3 or Guild Wars 2 beta weekend. But uh, we start off here with some legacy issues here. Yikes! You know, at first I thought it was a nice run, but you see that again, and uh, really, no, that's not particularly a good run because that was a simultaneous fall down thing, and not only that, it was a simultaneous fall down between offensive linemen and defensive linemen all falling down with the same animation. But, you know, the nice thing is it's followed up here with a pretty nice looking run. So, uh, but uh, getting back to what I was talking about before is, uh, and by the way, I've been playing uh, Madden 08 uh, on PC, all modded up with some friends, so I'm still using the Madden 08 controls. <laughs> and uh, what uh, Turbo on that is uh, A, and uh, Stiff Arm is uh, Ray Trigger, so there. You're going to see me doing the stand back, audience, stand back, defenders. I've got this uh, here and there as I'm playing. And uh, also, uh, just getting used to, again, the NCAA controls. Again, I've been mostly playing Madden and uh, 2K12 and, uh, what do you call it there? Uh, well, I was deep in the battlefield, but I got tired of beating on noobs and then uh, took a bit of, bit of a break from that. And uh, what else has been going on? I've been playing a couple of games with my buddy uh, uh, Jimmy P. And then, uh, but you know what? I'm, I'm meandering away off topic here. Focus! Focus on the topic at hand. So, uh, I was saying that, that this is a marked year of development for uh, NCAA and Madden because the development teams have actually, if you didn't know, uh, they've actually been doubled in size. So that's a that's a nice little, you know, that shows that there, there's a care on the and you know and a financial care on the EA Tiburon side of the game that they're actually investing back in this franchise again because it has been. You know, unfortunately for us fans out there who buy it year after, you know, plunk down our, our money year after year for this game, it has definitely been sorely lacking and sort of been a regurgitation year after year. Now, the beginning intro stuff, I don't find it that terrible that it's not dissimilar pretty much at all from last year, because I would consider that, if you've got a double the size development team, I would consider that a uh, waste of... Uh, what do you call it, uh, a waste of development resources. If they got this big giant team and they just gave us even shinier helmets and even more real grass and, you know, new intros and didn't really do too much to gameplay, you know, I think that'd probably be, you know, that'd be the old uh, straw that broke uh, this here, big, big gray bushes, camels, hump. And really you could see, for the most part, and considering this is, an, you know, this is a bit of a legacy engine here that they're working with, that uh, you know, they definitely have used mostly, you know, those resources to a plus, and they've done their best to try to clean up. You know, that's a that's a good looking double hit tackle right there, man, and that's a good looking play too. I don't, you know, you don't feel robbed about that. It, you know, it wasn't two guys that morphed right through your guy. No, they made plays around the defender. It was two guys there and one offensive lineman and. Hey man, one guy beat the offensive lineman, and the other guy just went through on block because you know that was an overload blitz. But we're gonna follow that up with some goodness here. Don't you worry, because here comes a nice little screenplay. Looks good. Here's a nice consecutive hit tackle. Don't forget, uh, it wasn't too long ago in NCAA 10 that that second guy that came in, he would have got force fielded to the ground or out of the way 
because I was already engaged with those other guys. So a little bit of wonky throw. That's that's a minor complaint, man. They can clean that up at a later date, as far as I'm concerned. Like you know, next year, the year after. But uh, you know, again, that looks that looks not too too terrible. So this is the third game I've played. Initially, I was going to do Alabama S LSU. It was my intention, believe it or not. I played that game out in its entirety. I thought I was recording it. I go back to look, and <laughs> yeah, it stopped recording. Like basically at the. Uh, you know the intro of the game. <laughs> so here we go. We see some of the branding again. Uh, you know that weird moving collage thing. You know that's pretty cool, man. Uh, a few pet peeves I found. Uh, uh, you know a few gurs, uh, a few legacy issues. You can see, still see a little bit of warping. Uh, I noticed on kickoffs that uh, for some reason you can't. All you can do is run with your your guy in the lane until the kick returner catches the ball you know that was good that was me running out of the pocket like a dummy and uh, getting rewarded for my dumbness that wasn't too bad looking uh, pocket awareness by the way and staying in the pocket not running around like a big crazy dope like it's Mike Vick and you know Madden 2005 <laughs> or was it Madden 2004 or whatever <laughs> yeah definitely you're definitely gonna be rewarded for that by the way and also with the don't forget that was in the hype uh, that sizzle trailer sorry was uh, you know the new three, five, and seven step drops, and they're gonna do it for you. Plus, you can break the animation. Thank God, that was uh, something that they did quite a while ago. And we're gonna follow that up up with some goodness here. Check this out. That's you know that's a nice looking play, even though it wasn't in completion. But that you know again, you don't feel robbed or cheated on something like that. But some other things I was uh, talking about on the kickoff. Uh, by the way, uh, when you take control of one of the guys on the on the kickoff. You get stuck running in a lane, and you can't move out of that lane until the kick returner gets the ball. Now, I don't know if that's uh, something that's stuck in the demo that's going to get fixed later, or you saw that was one of the features in the sizzle trailer that, uh, you know, runners stay in their lanes now. So, you know, we'll have to see. Check this play out. Woo! Wasn't that beautiful? That, that was just a beautiful touchdown, man. I, I got to say, that was a beautiful, and, you know, not only because I did it, but... You know, that's a good-looking play. You know how many times in NBA or NBA in NCAA, uh, you know, 12, 11, or 10? Hell, we're even playing. Like I said, uh, me and some friends are playing modded up uh, Madden 08. A throw to the middle like that is most likely going to result in a pick. Because what's going to happen? Either super line, you know, middle linebacker who's 30 yards, unbelievably 30 yards downfield, covering a wide receiver, or you know, uh, the safety is going to morph through your guy, or uh, you're going to get psychic DB type stuff, and he's just going to pick it off. You know, that that's nice. That the middle of the field is finally going to be open for play, because how many plays do we see out the open, like middle of the field now? It's not only stretched the lanes and stretch, stretch the field to the flats, but it's also pushed the field and also used the middle of the field, challenge the defense. So, um, what are some other pet peeves of, uh, and uh, gurs and woes about this? You saw the... Uh, consecutive fall down tackly thingy. That's a bit unfortunate that that's uh, still in there. But again, this is the older engine. Uh, that you know, that's a good looking play there. I end up getting a pick here. Uh, a little bit of uh, mind reading uh, uh, defender stuff. I think that that pick's coming up here shortly. By the way, uh, I already talked about the you can't uh, take control of you guys on the on the kick off till they get the ball. Again, that might be by design. Uh, one thing I was noticing on defense, when you've got like a, a linebacker or a safety or a corner blitzing, and you want to take control of him, and you want to take him out of the blitz, like if, say if you're controlling the middle linebacker. Um, uh, I noticed that he keeps on going on, going down to do his blitz. Again, is that something by design? I don't know, because normally you were able to just take it per me. Little NASA tribute there. <laughs> um, normally, you're able to just take control of your guy. Uh, I still see the one pet peeve of mine, and this has been about the uh, EA's brand of, and Tiburon's brand of football. Period. Is there still is a bit of a lack of respect for the size and uh, depth of the field? And what I mean is, anybody out there see this is the play I'm talking about here. You, you see that and. I don't know, that was just kind of a hoagly. Roll that back a little bit there if you want, and uh, you'll see that and even the replay doesn't really show, well, it sort of shows that, you know, my guy breaks on the ball before the uh, receiver does, though the receiver does lose his fitting, footing. What's the receiver's ratings, too? But 
you know, when you see that in replay, that's not exactly a very pretty, uh, pretty interception. So, unfortunately, we can't expect a couple of legacy issues uh, in NCAA uh, 13. Uh, getting back to what I was talking about, though, uh, you know, other pet peeves and whatnot, the the side, the 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 size and, and and depth of the field still I don't see very well represented. That was a nice little shrug off, you know, get that weak sauce off me. And that's even on the old play action. Uh, if you've been on like a regulation or like an actual. Uh, Division One football field or an NFL field or you know in uh, in my case on a cruddy FL field is you know it is it is fucking big man and when you're out there playing on it and you know mind you I gotta go back in the depths of uh, depths of my remembrance here for that kind of stuff <laughs> hey your good friend Desmer is a great Bush gamer hey what can he say but uh, it's really a select few players, and it's really a, a minority. And that this is even up at the NFL level for the elite players out of college. You go up to the next level. Is that lateral side-to-side -side movement, uh, the sideline to sideline, being able to cover? That's not an every every player out there can do that type thing. It's only, you know, it's only a percentage of the guys of the elite guys are already out there playing. And I would really like to see more respect for that paid, uh, and also just like. You know the overall depth of the field. That you know, 100 yards is that, that's a long way to go, man. <laughs> you know, to be able to physically throw a ball 50, 60 yards downfield accurately. You know, again, but uh, you know, th again, these are things that they can help clean, start to clean up next year. Uh, most likely, I would almost guarantee that we're going to see uh, NCAA 14 will be making use of and. Uh, the nice thing for NCAA will will be the benefit of having a year of experience already with uh, Madden, and the Madden team is that uh, the Infinity Engine, as they're calling it, that's uh, uh, coming out this year for Madden. But we'll talk more about that in, in Madden. Uh, you know, I you know I really look forward to what they're going to have. Overall, I was uh, you know I felt pretty good about this year's NCAA. Uh, I know I said that about last year's game, and then the actual what you know. What can you what can you say about you know they give you the demo and then the actual game comes out and then you know like four out of twelve things they put in the fruitkin box don't even work uh, you know that's the one thing I think we've yet to see addressed is what you know it's nice that they dub doubled the development team uh, well both teams is uh, the one thing I still want to see and hopefully my hand smacks here. Emphasize the emphasis I'm putting on this, but this is something I've been harping on about in uh, YouTube posts on uh, other people's uh, channels. Uh, when they put up videos up, I've even uh, said it over in Operation Sports: is what is the commitment to quality this year? Because last year was atrocious. That uh, I mean, put it this way: when, uh, when the game launched, uh, not only is the usual, and the other thing is, are the servers going to be ready for? You know, this game is getting a lot of hype. A lot of positive talk. A lot of people are going to buy this effing game, man. So let's have the server capacity on day one, on launch day, when we get the damn game. You know what I mean? And not have to wait, like, you know, transfer file, you know, transfer fail, transfer fail, because, you know, you, me, my brother, and everybody's cousin is on, you know, playing uh, NCAA Dynasty online. Because, I mean, that's the dominant mode in this game. Duh. That and the the one-on-one -on -one matchups. I mean, come on now. <laughs> that, I mean, why else are you playing this game? I mean, even if you're doing an online dynasty, but just doing it by yourself. I mean, why not? You get all those great features, like the writing the news articles. I mean, you can create a whole backstory behind your team if you want to, and if you're that creative and that into it. Um, or as uh, <laughs> Jimmy B's uh, girl would say, uh, have you guys found the most ge geekiest game ever? <laughs> or the most nerdiest game ever? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, you know, other thoughts about the game. Uh, the pace is about right for college, by the way, because the college game is a fast, it's just a faster clip of a game. Uh, things happen faster in the game. The, the game rolls along faster. Uh, well, part of it is because there's not, uh, no, nowhere near as many, uh, commercial damn timeouts like there is in the NFL, but, uh, you know, the play clock is not as long, um, 
you know the clock keeps rolling under d different circumstances too so you know I, I do appreciate that um, what were some other observations the read and react I found worked uh, largely quite well and also the nice thing is uh, prob you know for a lot of the sim heads out there uh, and for people who you know well <laughs> you know the the vision cone was good and bad it was bad because well it was probably the most hated uh, <laughs> addition to uh, you know feature addition to a sports game probably in the history of sports games that I can think of but it was good because it simulated in some way at least the realism of you can't just turn around like pirouette turn around and throw the opposite guy uh, you know in the opposite side of the field that you're not even looking because you actually have to see the guy to throw the ball you know what I mean <laughs> I mean there there aren't too many John Stockton's of football out there doing these you know no look passes at least not that I've seen but uh, overall the read and react has been pretty good uh, actually, in that LSU Alabama game, I had a really nice pick taken away from me uh, that was read and react. Uh, you know, the corner left uh, the guy he was covering. Oh, by the way, don't forget, I always go in and I turn off uh, auto sprint and auto strafe and uh, uh, the, the show the play art. The show the play art thing got a little annoying. But here's the end pick uh, of the game. It's actually not a not a too terrible looking pick. At least I thought. I mean, it's in coverage. You know, it's a desperation throw. I get this, and check this out. I mean, a beautiful little tackle animation to top it off there. So I just wanted to show you the first half of gameplay. We're going to see some highlights from the game. My thoughts, you know, me droning on for just over 20 minutes about uh, NCAA, at least the demo. You know, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I thought this was going to be a pass after what was talked about for Madden. Uh, I'm going to be picking this game up, actually. Uh, but again, am I going to be picking this game up uh, release day, or am I going to wait a week after to make sure everything's working? I would really, really like to hear a commitment from these guys about the quality standards of the, you know, of the release product, because the just over a month that we waited for them to fix some of the issues, and then what five patches after that, they still couldn't fix a couple of the major what the the tendencies and whatnot were still all broken after your first draft cast in Dynasty. I mean. That's inexcusable, man. I mean, uh, me and friends of mine always play with our, and we've done this since they've put it in the game, is we've always played Dynasty mode with our own created teams. Well, we couldn't do that in online Dynasty mode because the damn Dynasty kept on uh, freezing as soon as you tried to do anything. And it took them two months to sort that out. Sort of. And we still got the Dynasty uh, transfer fail errors and stuff like that. So, you know, has there really been a commitment? You know, is there a commitment to quality on this? And there's that beautiful touchdown, by the way. Look at that. They, were t they talked about new passing uh, or uh, receiving animations and passing trajectories and whatnot. Yeah, don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> uh, so not too bad, man. A uh, little bit of legacy issue. It, this is most, le I would say, from what I've seen so far, by the way, I would call this the best, uh, and the best football game to date that I've actually physically played. Can't talk too much about Madden yet because we haven't actually played it. All we're, all we're seeing is other people play it. And of course the devs uh, talk about it. So, But the, again, that's going to be uh, food for another video. Your good friend Das Merck saying thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to unlock other Heisman guys and you'll see at the end here what I unlock. Uh, was it Archie Manning? No. No, not Archie Manning. Uh, oh, Archie Griffin. RG3Z. Anyways, good friend Dasmerg, watch for Madden. Coming soon!